I was born and raised here in Somerville. I grew up with my three brothers, my sister, my mother and father, and grandmother who raised us. I graduated from Somerville High, class of 2000. It was good times, but there were a lot of tough things going on in the community too. And that's one of the reasons that contributed to me joining the Army in 2003. Did two tours in Iraq with the Army. And while I was away, a lot of these problems that I left persisted in the community. I tell a lot of people that the state of Massachusetts lost more people to substance abuse in the time period than both the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan combined. And uh, at the same time, people were being displaced in the community. A lot of people felt like they weren't a part of the community anymore. And I told myself, you know, if I got out of this situation in the military, I would come home and do something about it. I started a group called Save Our Somerville, which represents for working families in the community and tries to give people a productive outlet for expressing themselves. Realizing that I needed more education to fulfill my goals, I enrolled in Tufts University and graduated from there with a degree in political science. And uh, that basically brings us to present day. I have this opportunity to represent Ward 1, and I'd love to represent East Somerville. It is the Somerville that I remember in both the good and bad ways, and I'd like to make sure that people are being taken care of there. The first time that I really got involved, I was 13 years old, and I was involved in the Lexington Park development. We also have a mural project there uh, that I'm, we're very proud of. They were renovating the park, and us young people, we fought to have a full court basketball court there. Uh, we actually lost that fight, but years later won it when we started Save Our Somerville. So we started with that, and then we followed through with a lot of youth and recreational activities, trying to give kids productive things to do on the street, or to get them off the street, I should say. That evolved into our local jobs movement, where we tried to make sure that any jobs that come to Somerville uh, go to Somerville people first, who I believe that would do a, big, do a great service in making sure people can stay in Somerville. Uh, and that also evolved into uh, 2008 when we were fighting to pr protect uh, the MBTA. They were cutting services and raising rates at the same time and threatened to cut programs like the RIDE, which many elderly people rely on. And we made sure that uh, the RIDE still existed. We made sure that a lot of train lines and, or the bus lines were not cut. Unfortunately, the, uh, weighed, the fares went up, but that's still a fight that we're still fighting for. So I think we do a number of things as a group, and it was always revolves around making sure that working people can survive in the community. The three most important issues to me, uh, in no particular order, are local jobs, making sure any jobs that come to Somerville go to Somerville people to ensure they can stay in this community. I'm very concerned about youth issues and youth recreation. I think uh, we've consistently made cuts to youth activities in the city, and I want to make sure that the next generation doesn't go through the same problems that my generation went through. Uh, and then the third one is smart growth. On the road to progress, sometimes people get left behind. And I want to make sure that the people who want to remain in this community stay here. Uh, and that's working people, that's immigrants in the community, which uh, is a huge demographic in East Somerville. So I want to make sure that this community doesn't lose what makes it great. I love, you know, the soccer tournaments we've thrown every year in the community uh, to bring youth together, and which not only brings them together for just activity, but also for a purpose of organizing and teach them how to do things for themselves. I love uh, the fight we had to uh, make sure the mural at Foss Park remained. I think that mural represents the community in a lot of ways. Uh, you see a mixed group of young people in the, on the wall. Uh, you see elderly people, you see firefighters, you see a lot of people that just make this community great and I wanted to make sure that was preserved. Uh, I think I just love, you know, I love hanging out on my stoop on Broadway and just seeing people pass by and seeing that this is really a diverse and unique place. I'm a very energetic, passionate person, especially when it comes to the things I believe in. I would be the only veteran who serves on the Board of Aldermen, something that I think is very important and missing uh, both here and on a federal level. I can work with people who I disagree with as well as uh, fight for what I believe in. My campaign is about talking to people and getting to know what they're concerned about. I've spent most of my time knocking on doors, talking to people, 
getting to know the neighbors, getting to know what's important to them. I've made sure to talk to everybody, not just a select few people. I've uh, gone out with uh, translators to talk to the Spanish and Portuguese uh, community. I've also tried to uh, reach out with the Creole Haitian community as well. I'm all about the diversity of East Somerville, and I want to make sure that that diversity is represented. I've been to the senior housing to make sure that they're being taken care of. I've been to the affordable units in the city. I've been basically everywhere, and I'm not leaving anybody out of the circle. Right now, we're just looking really strong, I feel. Uh, we have a few weeks until the election comes up, and I think we're hitting the doors. We're getting a lot of volunteers, expanding our base, and uh, developing a really strong organization. I think we're going to win the primary, and then we're going to move on and hopefully win the general election. And I think this all revolves around talking to people and getting to know what concerns they have. And I think uh, the strongest asset we have are people whether it comes to the voters or whether it comes to volunteers, is I think we have the best volunteer base we have, and that's going to move on to the best voters, hopefully. I represent something old and something new in the community. I grew up here in Somerville, and I have the intense pride that native Somerville people have in their community. I also represent something new in the sense that I'm representing new ideas, new people in the community as well. The community is expanding and we need to be more inclusive. So that's very much what I'm about. I represent uh, the best of old Somerville and the best of new Somerville.